good evening, class of 2015, family and friends, and each guest here tonight. It is a joy for me to have the opportunity to reflect as we prepare to leave Strong Thurman High School and embark on a new journey. I am blessed and honored to stand before you as salutatorian to address you. First, I would like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for giving me wisdom, guidance, and the fortitude to complete high school successfully. I would like to thank my parents for their encouragement and determination to allow me to explore many possibilities as though I were a bird, spreading my wings to one day fly away and find freedom. Finally, I would like to thank every teacher, guidance counselor, tutor, and every other person who assisted me on this wonderful journey. We are a class filled with determination who overcame hardships by turning them into victories. We let go of our inhibitions and aim for the stars, not stopping until we did what others said was impossible. We did not let the fact that we are a small country school stop us or fear us, as many of tonight's graduating class were molded by their participation in award-winning teams and clubs. With deep appreciation, I am blessed to say that I was a member of the Rebel Regiment marching band and mock trial team that took home the state title. In 10th grade, I was the public speaking state champion for future business leaders of America in the second division. I stand before you as a graduate of the Thurman Statesman Institute. I went on to become the state champion for Voice of Democracy, sponsored by this local chapter's Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 6932. Now, I say all of this to say that it was not I, but the grace of God that was within me. In class of 2015, if you keep God first, keep your eyes on him, you will reach success, and he will lift you up before all men. Unfortunately, amidst the success, we lost two rebels along the way. Sean Young and Tyler Morgan were two that we had to let go of too early, and the memories that we shared with them will forever be etched in our mind. Yet we took a moment to say farewell, and we kept pushing. Yes, we look at the future now with optimism and hope. We see what lies ahead for us, and we look at it with happiness. We reflect back on the years, remembering the first day of kindergarten, the innocence of childhood, the challenges that we faced as a preteen, and the hope that we now have as young adults. The past is now behind us, and our unique, yet specific future is set to enter either college, the military, or the workforce. Our eyes are focused on God as we look towards him for guidance in completing his will for the next phase of our lives. Take risks, follow Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, and live life to the fullest. Make footprints wherever you go, and remember that God's footprints are a reflection of his protection and love upon our lives. Now is the time, class of 2015, to let it go. Let go of worry and remember that God has an outstanding plan for your life. Let go of apprehension and go out into the world with boldness and confidence. Let go of doubt. If you do not believe in yourself, no one else will. Let go of anger, for it is the venom that poisons. True freedom comes when you place everything in God's hands. Finally, let go of fear. Life is nothing without a few risks, and with the right attitude, you can accomplish anything. Congratulations, class of 2015. We are here. We have proven our strength by fighting to be all that we can be. We are more than achievers. 
but we are victorious achievers. Let us enter the world with maturity and make decisions prudently. May we represent ourselves and our families with dignity and strength. Let God be our guide and remember his promise in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Thank you and God bless.